I just got out of bed and Paul's still in bed. Today we're taking you along in a day in our life. Which tea do you want? And then we sit and read while we drink our tea and coffee. Paul is reading In the Country of Men, which I got in Obidos and read already. It's very good. And I am reading A Little Life. Part of the reason I got it is because it's a thick book. It's very good, I think. Breakfast time. After breakfast, I'm gonna wash up and Paul is going to work on some subtitles for the video coming out today. So today, at the time of recording, the Porto video is coming out. <laughs> Don't know when that video that you see right now will come out, but there might be quite a time coming. It's the 11th of April. Then after that we're gonna get ready and drive. We also need to do some shopping because we have no vegetables left. And then of course we need to find another place to stay. We're also going to go to Portofino today. We're gonna drive close to it, walk there, because Cars are not allowed there. We don't know where we are going. We don't know where we are going. On the same page last. Also, that is totally random, but I have to mention it real quick. A while ago, in Spain, in Malaga, we were looking for some vegetables as well. And we came across this a Russian spread with German writing in Spain. I, I didn't. I'm still a bit amused about that. So it's currently raining, and it's been raining for like a good bit. And it's like raining a lot. So I'm not sure about this whole walking to and from Portofino. So we may need to reconsider what we're doing today. Cold weather up says there's no rain here. No chance of rain until 4 p.m. What do you call that then? And now it's time to brush my teeth and clean my face. So normally whilst the one is washing up, the other one, in this case today it was me, is going through a list of things that we always want to be sure are done before we start driving. Things like gas bottle is off, the gas pipes to stove and boiler are off, the fridge is closed, all doors are closed, all curtains are closed, that things are tidied away, and that all windows are closed. We've heard stories about people losing their uh, windows because they were open. Don't want that. And only then we normally start driving. Every two to three days. And we have to, to fold this bed up so that the underside of the mattress is getting a lot of air. Because we still to this day are having the problem, well, that the underside of the roof is cold and we are warm and there's sort of sweat happening in between and we would get mold. 
if I wouldn't do this once in a while. So. On. Yep, fingers still not well. It's nearly better. It is so close to being better. But yes, it's still technically infected inside. We are about to start driving, and hopefully the weather is better where we're going. That means we're not going to Portofino. Change of plans. So we turned around and went on the motorway, which was quite nice. Uh, Relaxing. Relaxing, it was very not so relaxing. Stressful. This Italian roads drive us nuts. And now we're going shopping. The only bread they have is baguettes. This is a box of eggs. With two eggs. So cute. shopping and now we're having lunch. After lunch we're gonna drive a little bit more. The fridge is full again. Oh, every time nowadays. Our first option to park tonight was at the side of a little forest road but that place is kind of covered in logs so we had to look for something else. Now, Park for Night in Italy really doesn't have very much and it seems like there's literally just really no space to park a motorhome. So we looked on Google, on satellite mode and street view and stuff and we found a possible place. So we parked and we went to look and yeah, it seems like a good option. It's next to a little chapel. The road is fairly good. Success. Luckily we don't have to go again <laughs> look at five different places. We're both a bit fed up with Italy already because it's just difficult. You know, we don't have a tiny car. We've got this massive van. It's really difficult to park it. It's difficult to drive it. <laughs> Italy's not the place, guys. And we've arrived. And we're settled for the night. But it's been a while since we've actually been at a place this early in the day. So now I'm like, what do we do? <laughs> it's too early to cook supper. Paul was going for a walk because he's mad and I'm staying inside because it's raining. Why do you say it's mad? Because it's raining. And? It's wet. I'm not going to melt. I have a raincoat. See you later. Bye. My friend Norm now <laughs> and drinking oh. our fused tea. I've got my fused tea. Norm's got his. <laughs> I'm back already. Half that I went to as just a dead end to some small hut, some private space, and somehow increased painting. And I didn't quite know where to go. The uncertainty is with us as usual. Sometimes walks turn out the way you want them and sometimes they don't. I'm going to make a supper now. Today I'm making lentil curry. We're chopping today so we everything we need. Yeah. Lentil and cauliflower. I'm not a fan of cauliflower, but Paul likes it. I'm currently convincing Haley that she should start eating more cauliflower because cauliflower is great. She doesn't like cauliflower. I mean, why do you not like cauliflower? First, 
I need to put the gas on. And the star cut side. So this so you can see. Ask me the scissors, please. <laughs> I'm in the living room. Thank you. Normally, Hades curries are the best. One thing that uh, I just realized might not be obvious for everybody is cooking. It's getting an extra plus point when you live on the road, in our case anyways. Because when you start to cook, the whole house gets warm. Because the gas, heat, well, we of course have a couple of windows open, but somehow still the whole house gets warm. And that's beautiful, especially somehow here in the back, it gets super cozy. I struggle with onions, um, but at the moment we've got shallots, which are even worse, and with the warmth and the closed space here, oh my god, I'm crying now, it is horrible. Soon ready. All the ingredients are in. Rice has been ready for a while. Hurry. And rice. I burnt my tongue. We just finished dinner. It was very nice. Very proud of myself. For the rest of the evening, we're gonna probably watch something and then go to bed. Washing up gets done in the morning. We didn't do much today, we just drove and <laughs> did shopping. Even though we were intending to go and explore a little bit, but it didn't work out. And that's the reality sometimes. If you have something specific <laughs> that you want to see in a future video, same kind, then just let us know with a wee comment. It's my turn to tidy up this mess. Washing up is tomorrow, but it's gotta be sorted out a bit. So from this to that, for the next day, already the table is set, the kitchen is clean, and this I would normally just put it in the sink, but today I'm actually gonna put it outside because outside there is no one else that could steal it. And it's colder and drier, so by the morning it will not all be stuck onto the plates. And now we are going to watch something. What are we watching, Haley? Actually, before watching, I've gotta make that bed working again so that we can actually go to sleep. Carrying the bed is always extra long and difficult because we've got such a woolly blanket underneath the bed sheet which is sort of loosely lying between mattress and bed sheet and every time I fold over the mattress it gets it falls completely out of place so I have to like arrange it every single time.
I'm ready for bed. Gonna go to bed now. I hope you enjoyed this day in our life. And we'll see you next week. Good night.